Welcome to this week's Face the Facts Friday. Our top stories this week. Donald Trump won't go vegan. Boris Johnson, the UK Prime Minister, accidentally makes a good vegan argument. Some woke animal killers. A few good news stories. And then finally, we'll finish with our Meat Flakes of the Week, where I'll respond to some of the dumbest shit I've seen from meat eaters over the last week. Let me know you're ready to start the video by hitting that like button right now. And let's kick off with the first story. Donald Trump thinks going vegan makes you lose brain cells. Donald Trump's press secretary he published a book revealing what it was like to work with him. And in this book, she revealed the real reason Donald Trump won't go vegan. So what happened is the organization Million Dollar Vegan offered to pay $1 million to a charity of his choice if he went vegan for 30 days. His secretary who wrote the book tried to get him to do it. And what did he say? No, no, it messes with your body chemistry, your brain. And if I lose even one brain cell, we're fucked. Firstly, I'll just say I love the self burn. Obviously he was joking with the, if I lose one brain cell, we're fucked part. Gotta respect that self burn. But seriously, eating plants messes with your body chemistry and your brain. You're already eating like 80% plant-based in every meal. You really think that extra 20% is gonna cause you detrimental harm. <laughs> I keep thinking I've heard every anti-vegan excuse, but damn, they just keep coming. Never underestimate the creative mind of someone desperately trying to justify killing animals for sandwiches. Apparently, Million Dollar Vegan is now trying to get Joe Biden to complete the 30-day vegan challenge. It's a good job Trump is wrong about vegans losing brain cells when they go vegan, because if Biden loses any more brain cells, he'll go from constantly forgetting what he's talking about to forgetting how to talk. From America's Trump to the UK's Trump, Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He's in the news this week for calling climate activists irresponsible crusties. Boris Johnson has spoken out against Insulate Britain, the climate activist group demanding the government insulate houses in Britain to help the environment. The group has been blocking major roads in the UK, causing a load of shit and uh, Boris is sick of it. He said, there are some people who call those individuals legitimate protesters, they are not. They are irresponsible crusties who are basically trying to stop people going about their day's work and doing considerable damage to the economy. A crusty is someone who's most likely young, dresses quite in quite a scruffy way. And most of these kind of people like crusties, let's say, they reject kind of normal society. This is kind of what he's saying, I guess, when he says crusty. To be fair, most climate activists fit that definition, more or less. Don't hate me, all right? I've been to climate protests myself. I'm just saying that's the reality. But here's the thing. He says they're not legitimate protesters because of the way they're protesting. That kind of suggests that the way they're protesting isn't working or isn't good. But Boris, you are the prime minister of England. You were talking about them. So doesn't that mean their protesting is working? Seems pretty legitimate to me, Boris. Boris has been pretty busy lately and he accidentally made a pro-vegan argument recently during a TV interview. Check this out. 120,000 pigs are going to have to be killed and incinerated if there is no answer to the shortage of abattoir and butchery workers in the next 10 days. That would be the single biggest cull of healthy animals ever to happen in the history of British agriculture. Yeah. You have 10 days to deal with that. What are you going to do? Yeah. Well, I, I, I hate to break it to you, Andrew, but uh, I'm afraid that the, uh, the, uh, our food processing industry does involve uh, the uh, killing a lot of animals. So he definitely didn't mean to, but he ended up accidentally calling out the pathetic hypocrisy of people who get upset about farmers killing thousands of pigs on their farms when the reality is thousands and thousands of pigs are killed every day. It's just, it's in slaughterhouses instead of on farms. I mean, take a look at this article and some of these professional victims trying to make everyone feel sorry for them. It, it's so pathetic. A Yorkshire farmer has killed hundreds of piglets because labor shortages in local abattoirs mean adult pigs are not being killed fast enough. The resulting backlog means there is less space left on farms for younger pigs, which are cheaper and easier to kill. The farmer had been destroyed by it. He had to kill perfectly healthy, viable piglets, she told BBC News. Oh, he had to kill perfectly perfectly healthy piglets instead of selling them to someone else who would kill them as perfectly healthy, slightly older pigs. Oh, this poor, poor man. Once a pig gets too big, its butchered processed carcass will no longer fit into the supermarket packets, so retailers do not want to buy it from farmers. Oh my god. What an absolute nightmare. The pigs continue to live out a little bit more of their natural lifespan, and as a result of that, they end up getting too big to be squashed into a little supermarket packet so they can't sell their dead, lifeless bodies. It's desperate. I've been producing for 26 years and never faced the prospect of having to butcher pigs on my own farm before. <laughs> Sorry, it just... 
it really brings a tear to my eye. What these poor poor farmers must be going through. Now they have to face their victims instead of selling them off to a PTSD-ridden slaughterhouse worker. Pathetic. You don't have to pay these fuckers to slit animals' throats. There's meat made from plants, cheese made from plants, milk made from plants, and if you don't want to eat any of that, there's beans, lentils, rice, pasta, bloody chickpeas, loads and loads of fruits and vegetables you can spice up and get tasty. You can make this industry past tense and end this violent nightmare by going vegan. Speaking of violent nightmares, this next story takes the culture though argument to the next level. A Native American tribe in Washington that hasn't been allowed to legally hunt whales since the 1990s might be allowed to start hunting again for spiritual and cultural reasons. Not for survival, not for any necessary reason, for spiritual and cultural reasons. If a cultural tradition is violent, it is up to you and all of us to stand against it, not change the laws for it and make exceptions for it. Trying to bring back violent ancient cultures, no matter if they're indigenous cultures or not, it's regressive, it's backwards, it's just trying to justify senseless violence for the sake of appearing to be progressive. We've got some quick good news stories, then it's time for our meat flakes of the week. If you are enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button and make me feel good about myself. Come on. So I wanna show you two nice stories from last week. One person sent me an email, one person left a really nice comment. So let's take a look at them. Love your work, man. Take my hat off to you. People say that you will never have an effect on people and their food choices, but your work has converted me, my wife, and both my children to veganism, which we will all carry through the rest of our lives. Thank you for your impact on my family's lives. How incredible is that, guys? We need a bit of this. We need a bit of good news every now and then and this is a fantastic example of it you are making a difference we are making a difference hey david rams i'm one of the people that you had a debate on discord live a while ago and i'm the first person who was talking and i came here to inform you that i became vegan and thank you for giving me tips on being vegan and reasons why to be vegan it is possible we can change the world awesome stuff but it's about to get a little bit darker because we're going to dive into our meat flakes of the week This is a, actually a story from uh, Carnism Debunked from George Martin. He was on Bumble. As you can see here, it says, uh, about me, dislikes people who don't like animals, vegans. <laughs> what? Just spotted something funny in your about me. Can you guess what it is? Um, you're a vegan. Uh-oh. It's more that you say you dislike people who don't like animals, but also dislike vegans. Surely that doesn't make sense, right? As vegans are the ones who protect animals from those who dislike them. Are you calling me a hypocrite? Circle of life, isn't it? People who eat animals don't hate animals. <laughs> it's straight to the circle of life. Well, I think the term circle of life trivializes what happens to these animals in the slaughterhouses. You shouldn't use Disney movie quotes to describe bloodshed and violence for the sake of pizzas and nuggets. I see you work with doggos, but would we say it was the circle of life as someone killed and ate one of the dogs you worked with? Ah, got it. You're vegan. <laughs> Do you not agree with my points, though? Do you think it's crazy we live in a world where we are taught love one species of animal, eat the other? Why did you match with me then? <laughs> to start a debate, which is the whole reason I hate veganism. I don't go around shouting, I love me. I do not agree with your points. No, I am a country girl who likes traditional outdoor pursuits. I'm afraid we are not a match. You enjoy your plants. I'm off to shoot pheasants. Like she probably doesn't like vegans. People, I don't like people who don't like animals and vegans. So you are shouting about it. You're saying you don't like people who don't like animals. You're putting your beliefs on others. And you're also saying you don't like vegans. You are doing, <laughs> this is, <laughs> I don't go around shouting, I love me. No, but you do go around shouting, I don't like people who don't like animals, and I don't like vegans. You fucking hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. Still don't see how you don't see it as hypocritical to shoot pheasants with one hand and stroke a dog with the other. There's no moral difference. That is like a great example of meat flakery. George, uh, carnism debunked. Go check out his channel. Go check out his Instagram. I think he did a great job here, and uh, I don't know what happened after that. I guess she just probably ignored him because she's little meat flake fucking wimp. Vegan bro, it's just your lack of nutrition who is talking. Please have some meat from your mother. Pravin, Jesus Christ, can someone check on this guy's mum? Since you know so much agriculture, David, how about you start farming plants yourself? Oh wait, that would require you to do a day's work, something you've never done before. <laughs> yeah, I've never done a day's work. I didn't have a career in human resources, didn't go to university, I didn't go to college, I didn't even finish school. No, none of that happened. YouTube isn't work, what are you talking about? Video editing is not a, a job. No one, no one works as a video editor. No one works as a graphic designer for, you know, making thumbnails and Instagram posts. There's no such job as a social media manager either you know, getting paid for that. Researchers, keyword researchers, 
they don't exist. No one gets paid. These are not real jobs, guys. I do all of this, but that's not a hard day's work because they're not real jobs, right? So which one is worst? Eating animals or annoying the hell out of everyone minding their own business? Like you guys need a therapist. Well, eating animals is, of course, worse than annoying people. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, what's worse, guys? Slitting someone's throat, chopping them up and putting them in a burger, or annoying people? I think we all know. I think we all know, guys. Annoying people is much worse than that. David Rams, plants are living organisms too. Why don't you stop eating plants so you can exclude yourself from what you call hypocrites? Fuck, it's like every week some fucking moron pops up and starts coming out with plant lives matter nonsense. <laughs> Brandon, if you care so much about plants, bro, stop eating animals because animals eat more plants and people are breeding more animals to eat more plants so you can have burgers. So just eat plants directly and you'll eat less plants. It's funny you all use the term meat flake when you are all the biggest meat flake drama queens there are. You've got rotten corpses in your colon. You're eating chicken periods. Meat rots in your colon, fact. Chicken periods, okay, maybe it's not a fact that it's a chicken period, but it is part of a chicken's menstrual cycle. It, it is a it is an ovulation from a chicken. It is part of their reproductive cycle. It's not dramatic. It's just accurate. Animals eat humans for survival and taste. We eat them for survival and taste. End of fucking story. Jesus. Animals don't make a decision. I'm doing this for survival. I'm doing this for taste. It's instinctive. They just do. They don't have a thought process attached to it. You as a human, you have the ability to choose. You can choose things. You can say, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do this thing because it doesn't cause harm. When I could do the other thing that does cause harm, I'm going to do the thing that doesn't cause harm because both results can give me my nutrition and the tastes that I like, but one kills and one doesn't. You can do that. Other animals can't do that. It really isn't rocket science. You are the only person that's stupid. You can't force people to be vegan. Yes, yes, I can. There's many ways I could force you to be vegan, but making YouTube videos isn't one of them. <laughs> Poor guy is so skinny. I'm worried about his health. He should eat some beef. That might help. Is this is this like looking particularly too skinny to you? Is that is that, is that looking too skinny? Is this too skinny? Huh? Am I? What do you think? Too skinny? This is what they go for, right? They, they try to convince themselves that you look unhealthy because then it makes them feel good about their unhealthy body. There's a reason that their profile pic is a J and it's just that it's not their actual picture of themselves. Every psychopath is behaves like you. <laughs> this is not true. You're talking too much through the video. We can think for ourselves too. It's my channel, you fucking numpty. Why, why? complain about me talking too much on my own channel. My uncle was a dairy farmer and I know for a fact the cows have to be milked. It can be very bad for them if they are not milked. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got that uncle. Cows produce milk for their own calves. If a cow's producing more milk than they should, that's because they've been selectively bred to do that. It means you have created man-made milk machines that couldn't survive in nature anymore. It doesn't give you then the right to keep on breeding these milk machines, these animals that have been messed with by humans, to keep breeding them more and more. This is nowhere near even close to an excuse to keep breeding and milking cows, mate. Let me know what you think about these stories and these meat flakes in the comments. And don't forget, you can get access to exclusive content by joining the David Rams team. It's patreon.com forward slash slash David Rams. You'll be helping me make more videos like this and do more of this important work. And you'll get access to content that will never be posted on YouTube. So that's a big win-win, right? Keep calling out the bullshit. I'll see you all in the next video.